Now I'll show you how to enter a confidence interval for a mean on the Casio FX 115 ES Plus, and I believe it's the same for the 300. I took the particular problem from my video titled 7.2 Part 2 CI to Mean Confidence Interval for a Mean, and this problem shows up in timestamp 1 minute and 51 seconds. Confidence intervals are predicting the population mean, giving an upper and lower bound value. So you basically take the same problem once with a minus and once with a plus. So on this particular problem, I've got the calculator buttons in purple, the numeric values in a light blue, and then a cheat at the bottom in dark blue. So for the lower bound, we're gonna do 20 minus 2.575 and in the handwritten form, after the 2.575 comes a parenthesis to indicate multiplication, but on our calculator, we can go ahead and just hit the multiplication button. So times three divided by, don't forget your calculator has a square root button right there, and I can hit 52, even though it's in a square root with a parenthesis, I don't need an end parenthesis, I can go ahead and just hit my equal button next, and I get the lower bound of 18.92, etc. Now, for the upper bound, instead of typing this all in again from scratch with a minus button, what I can do for the plus is I'm going to come over to the replay large button in the middle and left arrow once and see my cursor blinking up in the problem. So now I need to arrow over to where that minus sign is and I need to physically delete the minus sign and then I can enter a plus sign next, and all I need to do is hit equals because everything was already typed in, and I have my upper bound of 21.07, et cetera. So notice hitting up arrow is just gonna spin me through my different answers. Whoops, and now I'm out of control. <laughs> but I would just need to have something typed in, and if I hit left arrow, it brings me back into that problem, but if I just change an operator from a plus to a minus, I'm still gonna have my old operator, so I need to delete the newer operator.